There's no tea in here. Oolong! Oolong? 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 Hey guys, this is my review for Mulan, the Disney animated classic from 1998. Now, obviously, since we won't be seeing the live action remake for a while, I thought I would review this film because this film is a goddamn treasure to me. This is the first movie I ever saw in theaters as a kid. The first one. I saw this at a theater that has now been long since shut down. I even saw The Iron Giant at the same theater. Mulan is so good for a lot of reasons. First off, the score. The score was the last one ever done by Jerry goldsmith before he unfortunately died he uses a lot of the traditional sort of musical instruments he also incorporates this feeling of epicness into the scenes that are super dark really emotional weight of the hard-hitting songs and there's also the humorous ones like what are we fighting for and of course obviously gave one of the most classic songs in Disney film history, Make a Man Out of You. The character of Mulan is also a great character in terms of trying to build a strong female character. Now with most films, they really try to force it on you. They really try to blare it at the screen. Mulan doesn't. There's a lot of subtlety to it. There's a lot of intricate development into her character because she's not doing this to prove what she is. She's doing this for her family. She is doing this to save her father's life. And in the end, she becomes a hero of China, but she did it essentially for her family. And that's the core root of it all. I loved her character. I loved the trials that she went through. Eddie Murphy is still hilarious as Mushu. There's a lot of really good humor placed throughout this film. It still does keep its emotional weight, but the humor is so well-timed that that levity is just so well appreciated. It helps to alleviate certain situations, especially after we go from what do we want to seeing an entire massacred village. The tone will sometimes shift like this, but it works so well in terms of bringing you back into a reality of this, the direness of the situation of the film. And this is when you have bad guys like Shang Yu, who's basically an evil version of Batman. Dude has hooked teeth, he's got weird beady yellow little eyes like a hawk, and the guy is massive, yet he moves like a ninja. This dude is an evil Batman. There's also some really great visual effects in this film in terms of incorporating CGI animation into 2D animation, especially when all the Huns come down the hill. One of the best shots I remember from animated films. When I rewatched this just the other day, I was blown away that they were able to do this back in the 90s. And the art style is really good too, using the traditional building design to the swirls and the smoke really kind of capsulate the uh, Chinese culture. And in terms of offensiveness, it's definitely far, far less than that of Disney's history. Not to excuse any of Disney's history because there's a lot of it, but I feel that there's only a few jokes here and there that are bad, like not horrible, but just not the greatest one, like maybe the Mongolian barbecue one. But either way, this film is still fantastically well made. It's got a great cast. It's got great voice actors. It's got great art style, great music, and a great story, and just a great character to get behind. Every time I think of a female heroine, I always think of Ellen Ripley, Wonder Woman, Sarah Connor, and Mulan. In the end, I'm going to give Mulan a 7 out of 7. It's a great movie. I enjoy it so, so much. And maybe there might be a bit of a nostalgia goggle for me because it was my first film ever, but I try to watch it with fresh eyes and it's it's still really freaking good. I think they're gonna screw it up with a live action, but we'll see. Anyways, guys, that's all for me. If you enjoyed this review, leave a like, and if you're interested in more, subscribe. Otherwise, see you guys next time. Thanks for watching the video. My name is Nitz, and you might remember me from the animated cult classic TV show, Undergrads. It's been a while, but I'm happy to say the click is finally getting back together in an all-new movie, thanks to a successful Kickstarter campaign. But we are still asking for your support. To see any and all updates about the upcoming Undergrads movie, be sure to check out and like the Bring Back Undergrads Facebook page. And with any luck, we'll see you guys soon.